In this video, we're gonna create an AI agent that automatically briefs us before every meeting. So every time we have a meeting upcoming with a guest outside of our company, we're gonna get a really nice structured briefing in Slack that includes the information about the meeting and a bunch of details about the person that we're about to meet. So we come into every single meeting prepared. To build this AI agent, we're gonna use Relay.app. If you don't have a Relay.app account yet, you can sign up for one for free using the link in the description below. And we're gonna build this AI meeting briefing workflow based on the AI meeting briefing template in the relay.app gallery. So you can pull that up and follow along as you build it. It's gonna be really handy for copying and pasting all of the AI prompts into the workflow. So with that, let's get started. So uh, if you go to the gallery page, you'll see the overview of the workflow that we're gonna end up building and we're gonna go through it step by step. So the first thing we need to do is create our trigger. The trigger is what's gonna enable our AI agent to wake up and start doing some work on our behalf. And in this case, the trigger we're going to use is event upcoming from Google Calendar. So if I go into Relit App and I press add trigger, I'm gonna select Google Calendar and event upcoming. I'm gonna select off of my primary calendar. And you can see here following the example in the gallery, I wanna set this to be only triggering for meetings with external guests. So I wanna set has external guests is yes. So I can go into my trigger filter, has external guests is yes. And then you can double check in this trigger preview box to make sure that this workflow is gonna run for exactly the meetings that you expect it to run for. Okay, now that our trigger is set up, the next thing we wanna do is our first AI step. And the first AI step is gonna take in the list of guests and it's gonna extract just the external guests, the ones that don't work at our company. And for that, we're gonna use a custom prompt AI step and I'm gonna copy this prompt because I know we're gonna need it in just a second. So I'm gonna add a step, I'm gonna to go to AI, custom prompt, and I'm gonna paste in that prompt that I just copied from the gallery template. Now in your case, uh, you wanna replace at relay.app with whatever your company's domain is. And then to get the output, which is gonna be a list of external attendees, and for each external attendee, I want their email, their first name, and their last name, I'm gonna use generate from prompt. And you can see that now this AI step is gonna produce a list of external guests, and for each guest is gonna have their email, their last name, and their first name. And again, to make this more readable, I can retitle this to uh, extract external guests. Now that I have the list of external guests, I wanna create a mini dossier for each one of those external guests. So as you can see, again, by following the template in our gallery, that the next thing we need is an iterator. An iterator is a construct that will let us run the same workflow steps for each item in a list, in this case, each guest in our list of external guests. So back in Relay.app, I go into the flow control menu, I select iterator, and the list I'm gonna use for this iterator is the list of external guests that was produced by our previous AI step. Now, for each of these guests, this is where the real magic comes in and we wanna ask AI to do some work on our behalf. We're gonna do a few things. First, we're gonna search Google to try to find out where their LinkedIn profile is. We're gonna extract their LinkedIn profile from the Google search results. We're gonna fetch that LinkedIn profile data. And then finally, we're gonna create the dossier, which is the, the most important step. Let's go through those one by one, starting with the search in Google for the LinkedIn profile. So back in relay.app, I'm gonna type in search Google. And the search query I'm gonna use, I can copy from this, uh, this gallery template. So I want the first name, the last name, the email address, LinkedIn profile, and then site colon linkedin.com slash in. So I'm gonna pull in the first name, the last name, the email address, and I'm gonna type LinkedIn profile. And then finally, I'm gonna type site colon, oh, let me double check what I have to type, linkedin.com. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna run a Google search automatically on our behalf using this query. And if you've ever searched Google for a LinkedIn profile before, you know that Google's pretty good about returning the LinkedIn profile you want in one of the top few results. So once we've done this Google search, we need to extract 
that single URL of the right LinkedIn profile from the search results. Next, once we have those Google results, we need to use AI to extract the exact LinkedIn profile URL from that set of search results. And so again, looking at our example in the gallery, we're gonna use another AI custom prompt step with GPT-40. AI custom prompt, GPT-40. And now again, I can copy the prompt and I need to paste in now the, using the at sign, I wanna get the first name, at last name, at email address. And again, I can generate the output from the prompt and it's gonna give me, I really actually only need this single LinkedIn profile URL as the output. And again, for readability, I'm gonna rename this step to be extract LinkedIn profile URL. Now that we have the profile URL, the next step is to actually get the profile data from that URL. And we're gonna use the get LinkedIn profile data from URL step to do that. So back in related app, I'm gonna type in get LinkedIn profile data from URL. I'm gonna select the URL that was the output of the previous step, AI step five. If no profiles are found, fail, because I actually want to know if this ran into an error. And we're going to need this LinkedIn profile data for the next step. So I want to know if it's not working. And then finally, we want to actually create the dossier for this specific attendee. And for that, I'm going to use Claude 3.5 Sonnet, because I found that it's by far the best model for this kind of work. So I'm going to copy that prompt. I'm going to create one more custom prompt step. I'm going to use Claude 3.5 Sonnet. I'm going to paste in the prompt. And then this is important. I need to attach the LinkedIn profile from the previous step because that's what Claude is going to use to be able to construct this dossier. And again, I can rename this step to write dossier. So now what I've done is I've extracted the external guest. For each external guest, I've looked up their LinkedIn profile. I've pulled the information back from the LinkedIn profile. I've used Claude 3.5 Sonnet to write the dossier. And now I just need to aggregate all of those dossiers into one single final meeting briefing. And so we can now go back down to the last AI step, which is gonna be creating the meeting notification. Once again, I'll copy this prompt. And then I wanna add this last AI step outside of the iterator, meaning after it's done the iterator over each external guest, after it's done with all of those, then I wanna create the final meeting briefing. So I'm gonna create one more AI custom prompt step. I'm gonna use Claude 3.5 Senate again. I'm gonna paste in the prompt, which says, please create a meeting notification that includes all the basic information. And I'm gonna attach all of the dossiers from that iterator. And I'm also gonna attach the event itself because we need some basic information about the event. Now that I've copied in that prompt and I've attached the AI responses, which are the individual dossiers, and the event, I just need to specify the output. And the output of this is going to be the briefing notification, which is going to be in text. And now last but not least, I need to actually send this to myself over Slack. So I'm gonna go into the apps menu, I'm gonna select Slack, I wanna send a message to a channel, and I have a specific channel for meeting preparation, and I wanna pull in the meeting briefing notification from step eight. Okay, now that we've created our workflow, it's time to test it. And to do that, we're gonna hit start a test run in the top right and select an upcoming meeting to use as an example. In this case, I'm meeting Whitney tomorrow. As you go through the test run, you'll be able to see what your AI agent is doing at each step. It's extracting the external guests, it's searching Google, it's finding the right LinkedIn profile, it's fetching the data, it's now writing the dossier on this particular attendee, Whitney. This usually takes maybe 15 seconds. Then it's gonna create the final meeting briefing notification and it's gonna send the message to my meeting preparation channel in Slack. And if I open that Slack message, you can see that it is successfully constructed pretty nice meeting briefing link with some information about Whitney, some information about the firm that she works at, uh, her previous experience and her education. 
So if you wanna give AI agents a try, this is like the easiest way to get started. It's a use case that pretty much everyone needs, being prepared for meetings, and it only takes a few minutes to set up. So follow this guide step-by-step step and let me know if you have any feedback.